OMG, look who it is. One half of the women's tag team champions, my partner. Hello to you too, partner and fellow tag team champion. Isn't it wild how far we've come? You used to hate me. Hey, we've been over this. I didn't hate you. I just resented you and hated everything I thought you stood for. Ah, yes, totally different. But water under the bridge. Feels easier to get along when we're champs. Speaking of, as champions, how should we kick off defending our titles? Let's take a beat. No need to rush into championship defenses. I'm sure we both have a few other things we want to do anyway. Not untrue. I'll catch you later. Ready to defend our gorgeous tag team championships? We're as ready as we're going to be. Let's hold an open challenge. It's a great way to show the WWE Universe that we mean business. I love it. The former tag team champs refuse to go away. You have to respect them answering the champion's open challenge like indestructible villains in a horror movie. A horror movie we've seen too many times. I think I speak for the WWE Universe when I say it's time for a new era in tag team dominance. Will Asuka and Tamina regain their tag team titles from the new champions? Or will the champions kick off Corey's new era in tag team dominance? It's time to find out. Aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. <laughs> that will get your attention. <laughs> Boom, kick. Tamina being controlled by the opposition here. Tamina has to devise a new plan here. <laughs> just getting all twisted up. <laughs> oh, nicely done. Seated suplex. This is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this, to keep fresh. Oh, quite an effective counter. Asuka managing to find some of that needed breathing room. Yeah, but Asuka needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. A constant assault from her here. Yeah, she's riding roughshod over her. Watch the quickness on this. Snap suplex! She avoids the attack completely. to the body of that shining wizard. Oh! With a championship on the line! If there was any doubt about their cash-in victory over Asuka and Tamina, these champs just put those doubts to bed. I agree, Corey. They look poised to hold these titles for a long time. It's Bree and Nikki Bella. The Bella Twins are here. Simultaneous. What the hell do the Hall of Famers want with the tag champs? I don't think this is about the champions. It seems to be all about their tag team gold. Whatever their motivation is, the Bellas made quite an impact here tonight with their shocking return. We haven't seen them in quite some time, and now they just cut to the front of the line for a tag team title opportunity. Don't ever underestimate the Bellas' cutthroat mentality. There's a reason they're Hall of Famers. I don't think the tag champions will be underestimating them after this. Unbelievable.
I didn't realize you were here tonight. A last minute podcast business. Sorry for not giving you a heads up. But I'm glad I was here. It's just like the Bella twins to show up and ruin everything. You okay? Yeah, and it sounds like you have something in common. They're also upset about never having the chance to compete for the tag championships. Don't say that. I have nothing in common with them. Those two ran me out of WWE. Didn't your injury run you out of WWE? My injury just sealed the deal. When the Bella Twins arrived, it was the beginning of the end. Suddenly, no one was interested in the women as athletes and competitors. They started telling me I was supposed to be a diva. You should be thankful you don't have to deal with that. I still don't know if that's exactly the Bella Twins' fault. I wonder if you'd feel that way if your matches kept getting bumped for bikini contests, or schoolgirl matches, or pillow fights. The Bellas may not have been the whole Divas division, but they were a big part of building it. I see your point. I want to be a real competitor, too. It must have been infuriating. Did I ever tell you I was supposed to give a retirement speech? After I found out I could no longer compete, I was going to have the chance to go out on Raw and have a proper farewell. I really wanted to thank the fans for supporting me throughout my career and tell them firsthand why I had to leave. So what happened? It was cut for time. WWE decided to cover the Bellas going on a double date instead. Wow. I'm so sorry. I never had an issue with the Bellas, but knowing that definitely puts them in a different light. And I'm certainly not a fan of what they did to us tonight. I'm not going to let Nikki and Bree push us around. You know, WWE has been requesting that I book the Bella Twins on ruthless digression so they can do press on their various frivolous projects. I blew them off because of, well, everything. But maybe it would be a good idea to set up an interview. Would be a real shame if anything happened to them while they're recording in the studio. I understand what you're saying. Anything can happen in a podcast studio, and it won't be a pillow fight. I'll talk to Ava. It does seem like both of you always manage to keep busy, even before your surprise return. Groundbreaking reality shows, a podcast of your own. When you were in WWE before, you each held that Divas Championship, but whoa. SmackDown is our show now. Stay in your lane. That's enough. You've done enough. Break it up. What the hell are you thinking? Get them out of here, now! What did the trainer say? I'm okay. They said I'd be out for about a week, but nothing serious. That's frustrating, but it could have been a lot worse. Didn't expect the Bellas to be ready for us at all. Maybe we underestimated them. Just a little bit. Take care of business until I'm back, okay? I certainly will. There's two of them, but at the end of the day, they're just the Bella Twins. This fearless rookie may be fighting the Bellas by herself tonight, but she didn't come alone. For the first time since the cover. And there's still plenty of fight left. Tried to make short work of things here. Turns that back on Nikki. Charring European uppercut. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. 
She's forced onto the defensive now. Well, we knew going in. Nikki counters the strike. But Justine doesn't seem content to just sit on the sidelines. Justine's doing everything she can to keep her niece in this match. What's Natalia doing out here? And why is she helping the Bella Twins? Nikki nails the spear. And it's over. Natalia's distraction is enough to help the Bellas help themselves. In any event, I'm sure we haven't seen the last of this rivalry. Not with that ending. And not with the Bellas continuing to stir things up here on SmackDown. We still don't know why Natalia got involved, but it looks like Justine is even madder about it than her niece. It's no secret that I've butted heads with both the Bellas in the past, but I am done with the shade being thrown on them and the WWE Divas division. I'm not an idiot. I know what some people have said about the women involved in that era, both behind our backs and to our faces, or in some people's cases, hiding behind a keyboard on social media. But the truth is, the Divas division was made up of talented competitors, all looking for their opportunity to shine, just like the women of today. As Divas, we had to fight for everything we got, whether it was a chance to speak or a two minute match. I would have thought a superstar who did her fair share of time in catering would understand taking advantage of every possible opportunity. Make no mistake, I am damn proud of how far this women's division has come, but I'm also proud of where we've been. It's time to respect the women who helped pave the way for the women's revolution. That includes the Divas. And if anyone has a problem with that, they have a problem with me. Crazy that only one week out of action has made me this fired up to get back in the ring. Good. Use that fire against Natalia. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. We certainly need to take care of the Bella Twins, but I'm not sure I would have gone so hard on them on social media in the first place. Justine's been telling me all about what she went through with the Divas nonsense. How the Divas division changed WWE for her. For all women, really. Listen. No disrespect to your aunt, but I kind of see where Natalia's coming from. I think she has a point. A point? I don't know. WWE's come so far since the Divas division, and I'm not going to be nostalgic about the past. Certainly not a past that, in my opinion, did more harm than good. Besides, I want to beat the Bella Twins. Now those last two points we can agree on. There's no use debating the past. Not when we can defeat all four of them and also have a little fun in the present. You feeling ready for your match tonight? Ava and I are good to go. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm here to put a stop to any divas, naturally. And if Natalia and Beth want to take on that mantle tonight, that includes them. You mean watch us do that? Sure, that's what I meant. And I'll be in your corner. That's really okay. Eva and I will be fine on our own. It's no problem, really. It's my honor to support you. Oh, okay. Are you sure you wouldn't be more comfortable supporting us from backstage? I would not. Okay then, guess we're doing this. Wait a second, what's happening? I didn't think the Bella Twins were here tonight. 
the Bella Twins aren't, but the tag team champions are, and it looks like they're having more than a little fun imitating the Bellas. They're dressed just like them, too. I don't think it's meant to be a tribute, Byron, although they certainly must have studied their tape to get the Bellas moves down like that. It's a catchy song. Kind of makes me want to dance and swivel my hips like the Bella Twins, too. Please refrain, Saxton. No one wants to see that. And I think Natalia and Beth Phoenix will want to do a lot less dancing and a lot more fighting when they get out in the ring. And I don't blame them. It's disrespectful to make fun of the former divas like this. Well, that's a score we have to see settled here tonight. As this match gets underway, is there any concern the tag champs may be splitting focus between their opponents and the Bellas? I agree. It could be giving Natalya and Beth Phoenix extra motivation to set these young champs straight. Well, they're going to have to set a legend straight while they're at it because Justine has come to ringside in the champ's corner. We'll see what role she plays in this match. Sent into the corner. And that was a precisely measured attack. Goodness gracious. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. And did you hear the impact of that? The fatigue is setting in for her. A lot of energy left. Fresh partner attack. She's in about as good a position as you can hope to be still. Oh, it is aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Momentum is clearly against Natalia now. Natalia needs to find an opening fast. Yeah, she's getting a determined focus again. Great height. She returns the favor there. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, so much damage inflicted. Spear! Spear! <laughs> Kick to the body and a shiny. She's going for it. Close. That could have been it. Target is set on Natty. She's in peril. She's able to get out of the way. And that definitely made solid impact. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Places her right in the corner. something in the corner. 
have truly blessed this union. I fully expect to see more showings like this going forward from this duo. The Tag Team Champions rivalry with the Bella Twins has led to this. One grueling match to stand tall over the Tag Team Division once and for all. Past, present, and future? Those are some serious bragging rights. The champs have had some extra pep in their step with Justine in their corner. But they'll have to beat the Hall of Fame Bellas all by themselves tonight. Placed in the corner. And impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Now trampling the opposition. She saw it coming. And then the DDT. Handstand into the elbow drop. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. She's taking some hits, but she's rolling with it. She'll come back. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Slipped him out of the way. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Oh, man, by the hair. Oh, lights out. Was definitely not thinking about the mess with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Nikki with the dominance. And that was an efficient form of offense for that move. And both athletes showing that they had each other's number. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Planet with a face buster. Single leg drop kick. Impressive reversal there. Look at this. Able to reverse that one. The challenger is not in a great place. Part of the territory when you're in an extreme rules match, Cole. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Nikki Bell with a nice reversal. Elbow smash. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Oh, she turns it right around. 
Such an underhanded tactic there. Oh, she counters right back on Nikki. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. A steel chair. She's taking this match into even more dangerous territory. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by count out. Taking this outside. This could be good. Swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Just breaking down the opponent. Watch out! They're coming towards the announce desk! What the hell are you doing, Byron? Golly, that could do permanent damage! Oh, right to the gut! Taking this one back to the ring now. Superstars have combined to form something unstoppable. Taking down the Hall of Fame Bellas just cemented that for anyone who doubted them. A Hall of Fame worthy victory for the tag team champions. No frills, no gimmicks, just old school tag team excellence to get the victory. Great match, great defense. And it doesn't hurt that your performance sent those Bella Twins packing. <laughs> Hope we don't see them again. Good riddance. I'm glad Ava and I took care of them. Take a moment to celebrate and relish the victory. But don't forget that the real work is just beginning. I understand. Just because we defeated the Bella Twins doesn't mean there aren't more women coming for our Tag Team Championships. That's not exactly what I meant. Keep defending the Tag Titles, but you'll be ready to go for a Singles Championship soon. That should be your real goal. Get a few more rivalries under your belt and keep establishing yourself. Then we'll talk next steps. Enjoying your tag title reign? I'd say so. Still getting used to hauling the hardware, but the extra baggage fees are worth it. Glad you think so. It's time to start doing the work. Fanny and Josie Jane have earned themselves a tag team title opportunity. Josie Jane and Fanny. Are there two new wrestlers also named Josie Jane and Fanny who are actually really good or something? I don't even think those two are friends. Apparently, they bonded one night over Poutine and have been winning a fair number of matches together over on NXT. Are you and Ava willing to put your titles on the line and take them on? Last time I checked, the tag titles were supposed to mean something. I'm not gonna let any random wannabes get a shot just because they feel like it. Bring us some real opponents, then we'll talk. Believe me, nobody is getting a title opportunity without earning it. Let me know when you're ready to get in the ring with them. <laughs> 